Now you're looking at the diagram of a rocket engine in this self-imposed challenge. Rocket engines come in three basic forms. We have a liquid chemical propulsion where liquid fuel and liquid oxidizer are combined and combusted. There is also a solid chemical propulsion where the fuel and oxidizer are mixed and stored in solid state. And that's what we will be dealing with in this video. There is also a hybrid rocket engine which is the combination of the two. Now when we talk about solid rocket propulsion we use the word motor instead of an engine. In a motor the combustion chamber is elongated as you are looking at in the diagram here. Now here we are the dump site looking for possible material that we can use for the construction of our vehicle. And from here we are able to get a material that help us to build something that looks like what we will be seeing shortly. Now from the dump site we are able to get a scrap material that will help build the design that I showed you on paper. Here are the parts of the solid rocket motors that have been sewn. So let's go ahead and do a static test. After that short static test that I did, I realized that there is a problem with the convergency part of the, uh, the, the solid rocket motor. So I decided to redesign it to the current one that you are looking at here. So from now on, this is this will be my uh, main solid rocket. Here are the parts of the redesigned version of the solid rocket motor before being assembled. You notice that all except for the convergence part of the nozzle is missing. This is the complete assembly of a redesigned solid rocket motor. The nozzle is made out of steel and an entire structure from a light metal that can withstand high temperatures to 70 degrees. Note that for solid rocket motor, the entire structure has to be stiff to withstand the intense heat that it would be subjected to. The main component of a rocket motor are the combustion chamber and in the nozzle. The combustion chamber produces space in which propellants are bound to produce gas at high temperature. The nozzle, usually of the Delaval type, is attached to the exit end of the combustion chamber. The nozzle is of the convergent divergence type in which excess gas are accelerated so that the smallest cross-sectional area or the throat they obtain a local speed of sound. And in the divergence system, these gases are further accelerated to supersonic velocity. And this will be our thrust chamber when we made the transition to a liquid rocket engine in the future. So see you in the next video for more intense activity.